Hello everyone, welcome back to Raise Aerospace and Space Mechanics Simulator. We are continuing where I left off in the previous video, and we are going to do some more tutorials. So, I'm going to approach my personal hub here. We did do some actual missions, and we will pick up the diagnostic tutorial. Alright. Oh, we have to pay for this one though. We will pick it up. Oh, uh, we have to finalize this mission. I forgot about that. All right. We did that. Uh, we are still not up to the 20,000 that we had initially. So that's rough. We're going to have to earn our licenses, huh? There's a power problems here. Well, power problems one here that we could pick up. But we haven't really done our electronics thing, but they don't seem to require it. Anyway, I think I would like to start off with training first and then do other things. So, we'll start with the diagnostics one. Okay, I'll probably want some light here. Click. It orients me automatically. It's sort of cheating. But presumably this time we're going to have to figure out what's wrong somehow, instead of just being told. Or we're gonna be told how to figure it out. Okay, just worrying things. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, uh, did I approach the wrong panel? Okay, let me put it back. Oh, it's that panel. Okay, okay. I went to the wrong panel. My bad. Okay, now we've got the right panel. Oh, we've got a little dish there, too. Let's try learning how pumps work and how they can be diagnosed. Before you start working with any set, it's usually a good idea to download its diagram. You do that by using your palm top. Okay, palm top. Okay, scan QR code. Oh, I guess we get to do that too, huh? Uh, by clicking on a screen using... You can s select... Okay, hold on a sec. Scans, QR code option. Okay. Hold mouse left. Oh, uh, that one. Okay, okay. Scanning the code downloads diagram associated with a given set and displays it on your HUD. Close this diagram for now. You can display it again anytime you want using B. Blue? Okay. You can reconfigure the behavior of B in the control options anytime you want. By default, you need to hold B to show the diagram, but if you prefer toggling, no, it's fine. Scan the label on the electric box. Okay. It points at the other part of the label, but it's the QR code that we have to click on. Diagrams of electric boxes usually show objects controlled by that box. For example, on this diagram, you can see that pump TSTP is connected to a port PM1 inside, oh barely, um, inside uh, the electric box. This port is connected to port A3, yeah PM3 is, PM1 is there, and that's, this is blocking it. Um, A3 of uh, the programma, programmable logic controller TSTEP. That means that our pump is controlled by this PLC. Okay. Oh, it just said something. Let's open this electric box and switch off the TSTEP controller. Okay. So, uh, I, I don't need my palm top anymore, I guess. But if I press B, I get this thing. Well, we should take out PM1, right? Maybe? I mean, do we have to take out the battery for the whole thing, or should I just unplug PM1? Oh, I, I think I can unplug it, maybe. Oh, uh, uh, it had a... Uh, okay. I think it wants me to switch it off, though. Instead of just putting... Put, taking out PM1. How do I put PM1 back in? <laughs> okay, like that.
Hmm. Okay, well, it just wants me to switch it off, I guess. And we'll just take out the battery. Since that's what we've been taught to do. Yeah, it wanted me to take out the battery. I will stop working now. Look at the front panel of this pump. There's a label there. There's another QR code. Gosh, it's a small QR code. Okay. Uh, palm top. Oh, need to hold. When you scan any mechanical part, your palm top will give you live information about that part's state. While still in the screen, reset PLC controller TSTEP. Device will need about two seconds to start up. Okay, so we have to put the battery back in. I'm not too sure why we took it out then, but I guess we were just resetting the controller. Okay. Pushing reset. Okay. While still on the screen, reset the PL- oh, wait. Now scan it. Okay. I don't know if this taught me how to diagnose things though. Well, so that's a centrifugal pump. And then we can scan this. Every pipe has two sets of sensors inside, one at each end. You will see a difference in- oh gosh. Um, when you see the difference in readings between the beginning and end of the pipe, it may indicate a problem with that pipe. Space is an, an extreme environment and sometimes the liquid can freeze at some point in the pipe, blocking it partially or even completely. Okay. Well, it seems like everything is balanced in this pipe. Okay. And if we scan that QR code, that is running like this. Pipe TST. Oh, uh, they want me to scan it again. I had scanned it already. I scanned it already. Oh, uh, that that's TST one, but it's pointing at TST two. Maybe they mean scan TST two. Okay. See what happens when you close the valve. Aha! Now we get to find out how we verify that we've closed the valve. The pump is still trying to push substance, so we get pressure... Okay, uh, let's keep talking there. Um, pressure reading on one end, but no flow. Um, let's see. Well, there's no pressure here. But I guess here... I don't know where the pressure is. Turn that pipe off. But there's no flow through this pump because we turned this off. Well, that's the electric motor. Huh. Well, uh, interesting if they have that separate. Okay, we have to open it again. So, there's stuff. There's other stuff for sure. It's all nice and balanced. So, now there's more. Let's t t look at the antenna TSTA. Does everything have to... I guess TST is test? I don't know. There's a lot of TSTs going on. Open the blueprint of electric box TSTB again. Antennas transmit and receive signals. This antenna is providing received signal to port a arc, let's just say. This signal is then passed to port A3 of controller TSTATR. This controller is converting the received signal to data. Data is then sent to sh the ship's computer by data cable leading to port RS3. When the ship's computer wants to send some data, it uses the same RS3 port, which goes to TSTA3ATR. Okay. Controller will convert this data stream to antenna signal and output this signal on port A2. 
That's not all, many antennas need to aim towards their targets and usually have two motors controlling their arm. Okay, and so motor two control and angle sensor and an angle sensor and motor. Ship's computer has all the navigation and positioning data required to do the calculations of the arm angles. It requires certain arm angles by sending data through those two ports. It requests certain arm angles by sending data through those two ports. These ports provide information to PLC controllers TST-A-M1 and -M2. Each one controls a single antenna arm motor. I'm having flashbacks of playing around with Arduinos, so I guess I, that experience helps. Whenever a PLC wants to change angle, it will send a positive and negative voltage to electric motors controlling that arm, but it also needs to know the current position, and so that's why we have those two signals. Okay. Play around and switch off PLC. Oh, gosh. Okay. We've already got our license. What was it trying to say? Uh, remember to leave everything in a working state, otherwise someone will have to come here and fix the test pump. Okay, well... I guess we should um, just close it up for now. The best way to figure out whether I've learned stuff is by actually doing some missions. So. I think we have everything on, so it's okay. Well, you need the electric box cover. And let's fly away. Okay. So we are D1 qualified. Let's proceed. 50% oxygen though. I guess the blurriness is because of acceleration. It's like blacking out or something. I think that's what that is. Okay, well, we need money to even be able to do the tutorials, so we better get some power problems. Let's just go for pays well. I think that's the only one I can do. All right. Well, oh, we have to finalize this mission. Okay, continue. It didn't give me any. I didn't even need the D one for any of these missions. Totally useless. <laughs> okay. Repair battery. Make repairs. Okay, we get to replace the battery. Seems straightforward. Wonder if we get to replace solar panels. Okay, slow. Okay, I think it's on the inner side. If I bump into the solar panels, we'll need to replace them. Okay. Oh, I could just take it out. All right, I've got the battery. Okay, we're good. Heavyweight shuttle. Good. We want a lightweight shuttle. Battery. We need copper, rubber, and plastic. Okay, that's repaired. I still got this pipe here for some reason. I feel like I accidentally took something that I shouldn't have take taken and now I'm stuck with it. Let me just recycle it, maybe. Maybe th th they gave me this pipe so that I could get the resources because they were being nice or something. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to... Cannot be recycled. It's a special pipe. Gosh darn it. <laughs> it is a persistent pipe. Alright, back to the thingamajig. Okay. Focus. Plug in. Panel on. Get wrench. Oh, toggle, toggle, toggle. Panel. Screwdriver. 
Um, it says make repairs at. I'm guessing it's not complete. Okay, hold on. Set mixed PLC A. Oh, right, we have to reset, uh, reset the PLC, I guess. Well, we have to open this after all. Wonder what? Oh, yeah, we do have to reset all of them. I was just like, do I have to just reset one? No. We have to. Okay. Attach stand. Yeah, okay, so now we put that back on. Okay, now we're done. Okay, mission finalized. All right, got some extra resources again. Okay, well, space flood, I guess. Satellite's losing too much fluid in circulation. Still not using the diagnosis thing, but we probably need like full diagnosis, like D3, for it to work. But I thought I'd seen a D11 before. We basically can't get any of these missions except for this one, so I guess we should get this one. Okay, repairing a pipe. Maybe I should be trying to set good times in these. I tend to do things at my own pace. Oh, that just whirred down. Okay, we're repairing this pipe, huh? Uh, we should probably turn it off first. No tool. Yes, this is it. I guess I could scan a whole bunch of QR codes to see. Uh, yeah, that... Sensor 1 is still 3 pascals. I wonder what would happen if I detach it while closing that, though. Well, we'll broach that subject when I have more money. <laughs> or I might do it accidentally right here, let's see. You can really go pretty fast with, with this EVA suit. Okay, repaired. Didn't have to buy any more resources, thankfully. Okay. If I open this valve... That doesn't seem to be doing anything even if I open the valve. Let me scan the QR code. It is showing pressure on both sides of it. it doesn't show anything leaking. Okay, well, I already opened the valve anyway, so. Well, they're satisfied. And that's what counts. Okay, missions finalized. That was appropriately low paying anyway. I wonder what I spent on. I can't do any of these missions now. They gotta make me spend money on the things. It seems like most of these require M2, but then... Before that, we had a D1 mission that made me want to get the D1 license. And now that one's gone, so... Fine, but we'll, we'll do the M2. I trust that we're not gonna get stuck or something. Like, we don't have enough money. Back to the training center for more. Alright, well, I didn't read that, but it was probably small talk. And substances running through pipes. Oh, so far we haven't... I guess even the missions might not have had that stuff running through the pipes. You will actually have to close valves. I've been trying to close valves. Okay. Sometimes I close the valves. Shadow, shadow. Detach the middle pipe. Okay, but we have to close valves, you said. That's zero. That's zero. 
I don't know how that works, but I mean, in theory, there should be. Well, I guess there's no. But no, there would be pressure. There just wouldn't be any flow. Uh, depends on. Hmm. Okay, maybe it wouldn't be pressure. No, then. Hmm. Depends where you measure it, I guess. Okay. I'll also say that the music is pretty reasonable. Um, I don't know how long before I tire of it, but so far it's so so far so good. Okay, eighty percent really? Oh no, we have to detach more pipes. Let's just close the valve. Let's scan some QR codes. I, I like this, actually. Weirdly. Zero. Zero. Okay. Got that one. Okay, we have to replace both pipes. Okay, fly away. But 80% didn't seem like it was too bad. Basically, this is like a tutorial to tell you to turn off, uh, to close the valves first, I guess. Search for pipe with 100 centimeter length and 20 radius in the shuttle inventory. 100 length and... okay. And buy it. To buy or sell items. Why, we can't build one? 160. Well, 260 is pretty cheap. I'll give him that. Let me just see how much... I mean, if we had to get... We've got almost enough aluminum. Got the rubber. But the steel would be 400 grams. And we'd need like 150. So if we had to buy that, that'd be 300. So yes, it's better to buy the pipe. Okay, so we've got a good pipe and an 80% uh, pipe. Still think 80% is not too bad. I've already, I've already got the stuff to I've already repaired it. Okay. Torque, torque, torque. Okay. Hold on, we haven't. We have to turn on the pipes now. Okay, let's scan the QR codes. <laughs> hey, we got pressure. 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 I think we're doing it properly here. Okay, we have our M2 license. Mission accomplished. Let's go back and see if there are any other missions available. Okay, mission finalized. Okay, well, we've got an M283 for 4000 here. No flow. Uh, but we got a 4,800 one here. I can't see you. Batteries have failed. Check them and replace them with new ones. Well, see, they might make us pay for the new batteries, so... Hmm... But we'll try it. Batteries are expensive. But it seemed like we had a lot of missions available, so that's good. I need money. So that I can repair more things. <laughs> it's a vicious cycle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I feel like I should play a non Kerbal Space Program space game like every week and rotate them. I've got so many of them sitting around. But not all of them are, like, good for making videos with. Like, I, I have no problem playing them, but I don't know if they make in engaging videos. A sufficiently talented artist would be able to do something with them, I'm sure. But I'm not sufficiently talented. Okay, battery. Well, we can repair I think I've got all the stuff. Okay. But it might be... Cheaper to like buy a battery. How much is it? Buy price is nine hundred. Printing costs four fifty. Seems like it's cheaper to print it then. 
Okay. Anyway, we repaired it. Let's go. Moon's always sort of partly blocking the sun. Well, wow, it's creating an eclipse all the time. Is that still... Oh, I guess it's still India. I hope India's not always on eclipse. Okay, battery... Plop. If this is all there is to this one, it's really simple for the 4800. So I suspect there's more. We do have to reset the thingamajiggy. Oh, we have to repair the other battery, okay. Well, that's fine. We should have just pulled that off before anyway. I wonder if the... the well, this is, this is a mission. I wonder if the mission would like get busted if we did both at the same time or something. Well, I've gotten used to that little orientation marker. Okay, battery... Printing costs 450 again. Okay. We need more of everything. Okay, it's all better. Okay, other battery in. Okay, and now we have to reset, as expected. Okay, um, should be all good. Okay, mission accomplished. Apparently, there are missions around other planets. You'll see. That's Orion right there. The only constellation I regularly notice. <laughs> Why does it feel like it's backwards or something? So, anyway. Okay, mission finalized. Yes. Spendings, 1,180. Okay. Well, there's still a bunch that we could do. They're not very valuable. This one is. Might get close to the amount of money we started off with. Let's do it. Repairing pipe. I'll cut these short if there's something I've done before. Well, it's not telling me to do anything else, so... Just assume that it's gotta be that pipe for now, but it could be other pipes. Okay, we repaired it. Oh, we have to repair pipe this pipe as well. Okay, well, let's shut that off after all. That still got some pressure there. Okay, zero. Still eager to figure out how to diagnose problems, but I guess we'll need more tutorials for that. There's the diagnosis and electrical ones, and then maintenance three as well. I wonder if it'll be as much fun once I know all the things. <laughs> Might not be as much fun when there's less mystery about it. Okay, nice pipe goes there. Detach small valve? I think it means open. Okay, it just wants me to open the valves. Oh, this one had been closed? Oh, no, that one... I had left that one open. And it thought I closed it, but I hadn't. I think I'm done. Okay, 
I am done. But it seems like there was one valve that it thought I had closed, but I hadn't actually closed, so... Interesting. Okay, finalize, confirm. Almost back to 20,000. Almost back to 20,000. So, I think I'll, I'll wrap it up here for this video. Uh, but we'll uh, do two tutorials next time and see what missions they unlock and whether they're more interesting. Uh, we've had limited complexity so far. It's been pretty basic. So we'll see. Anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.